The Tigers believe they've traded for their center fielder of the future. They send a top prospect to Toronto in exchange for Anthony Ghost. MLB.com columnist Anthony Castrovins joining us now. And Anthony, when you look at Ghost, he never really got the chance to be an everyday guy in Toronto. Can he be that guy? You know, he, he's got the potential. He, he's definitely, uh, he has that speed element, which the Tigers have, have done a better job addressing uh, the, the past calendar year. Uh, so he brings that to the table. It remains to be seen, though, what he can do in everyday role. We might not even see that in 2015. You know, this is like a, a possible platoon pairing with Rajay Davis, which probably makes a lot of sense there. Um, and, you know, Ghost is a guy who was a highly regarded prospect, but, again, it, you wonder about how he was used in Toronto. There, there was never a, a situation where he got an extended look. So, uh, you know, it, it's up to the Tigers that, you know, Wallet Joyner and, and the rest of the coaches have to get the most out of this guy from an offensive standpoint and, and see if he can become an everyday player in Detroit. When you look at his numbers in the minors, he has some seasons where he really hit for a pretty good average, but he hasn't done that in the major leagues. Is that really the big hurdle he needs to clear, just getting that average up over, you know, up over 250 at least? Yeah, and, and again, if he's in a platoon type of situation, you know, you're not getting the everyday at bats, but you are, you know, putting better positions to be successful. So maybe that'll help him quite a bit. And and we knew, I mean, the Tigers going into this winter, that they had to do something in the outfield uh, and most likely in center field in some fashion. Now, I don't know if this is the full extent of that, if, if there's more moves to be made as far as the outfield is concerned. But, you know, here's, here's a young, pliable body who, who joins a team that, that really needs uh, young bodies. And by that, I mean cost-controlled uh, young bodies because, you know, their, their payroll in other places is, is really, you know, getting into gargantuan sums. So they have to, you know, address the holes they have, uh, you know, in, in a frugal sort of way, really. And Goats is, is a guy who, again, has a lot of upside as, just from a pure athletic standpoint. And, uh, and could be a good platoon partner with Davis.